Hi everyone, welcome back to Cold Waters. Following our last disaster, I thought, no, I can't give up on a bad note. So uh, we're going to go again. This time we're going for the 1964 campaign because, uh, why not? I'm not getting anywhere with the 1984 one. So we got the best sub that I think we can get, which is the Sturgeon class nuclear attack submarine. Um, in service in 1967, it's this one, the permit or the skipjack. So we're going to go with the Sturgeon. Here we are. Effective immediately, you are hereby assigned commander of Sturgeon class submarine USS Burgal SSN 667. Thank goodness it wasn't 666. Congratulations and good luck on your command. Well, I bet the crew are not thinking that. Okay, here we are, USS Burgal, docked at Holly Loch, 1st of November 1968, 2100 hours, top secret. Tactical situation, intelligence estimates indicate that enemy Spetsnaz commandos will land from submarine in the vicinity of Bergen in Norway. They intend to report our sub movements and perhaps sabotage a naval base. You are ordered to intercept and eliminate them before they land. Primary objective, locate and sink enemy submarines transporting Spetsnaz trans, uh, commandos. Locate and sink any escorting submarines if possible. Oh joy, walk in the park. Cast off, anchors away. Look at the brief. Um, the vicinity. Okay. Review orders. And they're going for the vicinity of Bergen. Okay, so we're going to have to cover Bergen again. And we we know from our recent experiences that it's quite shallow where we got attacked last time. So, but that was up here, wasn't it? So um, we're going to have to cover around Bergen. Oh, do you reckon that's them? We have contact. Okay, let's go within uh, 15,000 yards. We have a contact bearing 115, designate Sierra 1. Our depth 150 feet, our heading 113, good, good, we're pretty much on target, our speed 10 knots. Weak thermal layer 120 feet. All hands to battle stations. Okay, first thing we can do, let's check. Oh, I see him, I see him right there. Let's get down. Sierra 1. That's passing 200 feet. Okay, we need to get under this. Oh no, we are in the uh, in the same layer now. I just need 500 and... How, how deep is it? 500 odd feet to the floor. Not great. We haven't actually picked it up yet, but yet it's visible. I think when we had the update it may have reset some of the settings, like one of the settings was basically a fog of war until you um, identify them, but it would appear that is no longer the case, so it's probably reset one of the options I set, because well, we haven't, we haven't seen it yet on the old sonar. That being the case, we can have a little nose around to see if we can uh, see anything else. 
No, nothing springs. Quick look at our stores. We have Mark 16s and Mark 37s. Right, let's um, let's get some 37s loaded. Ah, oh, so weird that I can see him, and yet we can't on the old. Oh, it's the music. I wonder what that clicking was then. I was looking down to see if the crew had decided to do anything. Let's drop down a little bit more. I think we're pretty much at the same depth. Gone. Torpedo room. Tube 2 loaded. Dropping down with the ballast. It could be an optical illusion, but now we're definitely about the same. Just had a thought, they could be subs on the surface, couldn't they? Didn't actually think to, to look at that or check. Switch the engine off, see if we can get any reading at all. Nothing. Oh, there she is. Got her straight away. She is a foxtrot. Solution coming up to 30%. Range ten thousand, well ten and a half thousand yards. Let's uh, cut the intercept angle off a little bit, and also it should help us get a reading from this side of the sub as well as that side. If that makes sense, not explaining it very well. But in my head, I think I know what I'm talking about. In reality, no such thing. Solutions building. Range five and a half thousand yards. Speed eight knots. Course two two five. Okay, we're getting a lot of information now. Okay, solution ninety five percent. Let's um, fire one there. Do we wind that one up? It seems to be going incredibly slowly. Have to uh, get the old clockwork winder going a bit better on the next one.
Okay. That's away. Do a little turn. Just directing it a little bit more. Uh, it's okay, we do have another um, 18 minutes of control on that torpedo, so um, she's going in the right direction, and as soon as she gets here, I want her to go active. And she'll be coming in from behind the sub, so hopefully that will mask her a little bit. Okay, boom. She's searching. I'll leave her go a little bit longer. See if she can't clock it now. There, 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 there. No. Oh, it's narrowing it down. active on Right, it's locked on. Another noisemaker gone. Can we steer us into her? Goodbye, Foxtrots. Right, what we're going to do now is get out while the going's good. Reload torpedo tube one. And as that foxtrot sits there, lifeless on the seafloor, we are going to make our move to get out of here.
Okay, so here we are, end of the combat event. We have no contact, ready to leave the area. No vessels nearby, no weapons nearby, no aircraft nearby, no flooding. What are your orders, sir? We will leave combat, please. Uh, enemy engaged, Foxtrot, sunk. There's the torpedo. Oh, weapons remaining. 14 Mark 16s, 8 Mark 37s. Systems damage, none. Good job. Right, excellent performance locating and eliminating enemy submarines. Transporting Spetsnaz commandos. Await new orders. Will do. Red sub sunk. Yeah. Yeah. We've actually progressed one of these campaigns one mission. Goodness me, we've survived two days. Look at that. Ongoing protection of many NATO allied military installations throughout the theatre. <gasps> Deep breath remains on high priority. NATO ability to maintain control of the region is founded on these bases. Okay, in the vicinity of the Norwegian coast. 3rd of November 1968. 1400 hours. Top secrets. Intelligence indicates that numerous enemy diesel electric subs operating in a wolf pack are headed for the North Sea. It is vital that these subs be destroyed before they attack NATO shipping and naval task forces in the area. We believe this force includes one or more cruise missile submarines with escorts. You are therefore ordered to find and destroy any enemy submarines in the area. Locate and sink the enemy submarines. No secondary objective. Avoid contact by ASW patrols. Weapons free. Remain radio silence until otherwise directed. Well, we'll leave that. Till next time. Oh, yes, I'm tantalizing you, aren't I? But we've survived. Let's end on a high, and we will be coming back to try the rest of this campaign. Or at least this mission, where we'll probably die horribly. So we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying this, and I'll see you very soon in the next Cold Waters. I'll see you then.